Once you've carefully drilled the regulator breathe hole into your air reservoir, it is most important that you deburr the inside of the breathe hole and give the inside of the air reservoir a light clean and polish. Once this is done and you come to inserting the regulator into the reservoir tube, you need to lubricate the inside of the reservoir tube with some of the Molycoat 33 as well as the body case and the two body case o-rings. At this point it is also extremely vital that you take care not to cause a bite mark in the body case o-ring as you feed it past the breathe hole. One way to avoid doing this is if you line the regulator up with your reservoir so that the o-ring is just before the breathe hole that you've drilled and then use the rod that you're going to insert the regulator with, line it all up and then place a small mark with the end of the reservoir. This tells you that when you're pushing it in that the o-ring is nearly at the breathe hole. At this point take the drill that you drilled the breathe hole with but don't use the, the drilling end, use the blunt face and as the o-ring becomes level with the breathe hole if you use the drill and press down and wiggle and press and wiggle as you feed the regulator into the reservoir then you should be able to get the body case o-ring past the breathe hole without causing this bite mark.